naomba uchukue nafasi yako sasa kufungua kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati sura ile ya 29 na ule mstari wa mwisho kabisa wa 29 You may now open your Bible in the book of Deuteronomy 29 and last verse 29 Imeandikwa Mambo ya siri ni ya Bwana na Mungu wetu lakini mambo yaliyofunuliwa ni yetu sisi na watoto wetu milele ili tuyafanye maneno yote ya sheria hii Amen it's written that the hidden things are for our Lord God but the ones that are revealed belongs to us and our children that we may hold all the words of this law Umeona ilivyo ka You see how it is Anasema mambo ya nini ndugu zangu He say the secret things mambo ya siri The secret Hebu sema mambo ya siri ni ya Bwana Say the secret things are for the Lord ya Bwana Mungu wetu are for our Lord God Lakini mambo yaliyofunuliwa ni yetu sisi na watoto wetu milele But the revealed ones are for us and our children forever Hallelujah Hallelujah Nataka niseme hivi tunapokwenda kuanza The man of God would like to say this as we are going to begin Yako mambo ambayo ni magumu na yamefungwa na kufunikwa There are things that are very hard and tough that are hidden and well covered. Na watu wengi hawakuyajua. And a lot of people did not know of. Umeelewa kitu nimesema? Do you understand this point? Hapa nasema mambo ya siri ni ya Bwana Mungu wetu. The Bible says the hidden things are for our Lord God. Yakisha funuliwa yanakuwa mali yetu na watoto wetu. Once are revealed belongs to us and our children. Ana maanisha nini? What does he mean? Anasema mambo ya siri ni ya Bwana Mungu wetu. He said the hidden things are for our Lord God. Lakini yakisha funuliwa. But once are revealed, ndio unakuwa no halali nayo. Is that you, you have right of it? Kama ni ushindi unapata ushindi. If it's victory you get victory. Kama ni baraka unapata baraka. If it's blessing you get blessing. Lakini kama hajafunuliwa, but if they are not yet revealed, yamefunikwa. They are hidden or well covered. You cannot uh, have benefit of it, even if you need them. Are we going together? That's why the man of God says, That's why the man of God is telling us that the things that are hid are very hard and they are bound and they are well covered and a lot of people did not know of katika ulimwengu wa roho in the spiritual realm kuna nguvu za namna tofauti za kimungu na kuna nguvu za namna tofauti za kiadui zinazoweza kukamata watu na zikawafungia huko na zikafunikwa ikawa kama siri kama Mungu hajaja kufunua watu wao watakaa kwenye utumwa wa namna hiyo muda mrefu sana In the spiritual realm there is so many types of power or authority. If it comes to God then it's good, but if it comes for an enemy, it can bound those people, make them walk in, in slavery. If God does not reveal himself and help them, those people are going to suffer. Have you understand this point? Ziko nguvu za aina tofauti za kimungu. There is different powers of God ambazo zikifunuliwa that once they are revealed sio kila nguvu zinafunuliwa kwa mara moja zote za kimungu mungu ndio maana anatoka utukufu kwenda wapi utukufu it's not each power that gets to be revealed at time that's why the, the point comes that god it goes glory to glory koja nikusaidie uelewe let the man help, help you so you may understand kisoma katika kitabu cha wakorinto if you read in the book of corinthians ile sura ya 12 kwa Korinto wa kwanza sura ya 12 ile msari kuanzia wa 4 anaeleza juu ya karama mbalimbali In the first uh, Corinthians chapter 12 if you read verse 4 it is explained about talents Zile karama zinatoka kwa Mungu Those talents comes from God Ni vipawa vya Mungu Is God's talents Hazifanyi kazi moja It does not do one work Lakini zote ni nguvu ya Mungu inayodhihirika kwa mwanadamu au kwa kwake aliye naye But all in all is the power of God that reveals himself to a person that have that talent. Do you understand this point? Let's open together so we may see something there. Maana lengo Mungu anataka uelewe ukishelewa inatosha. Na Biblia inasema nguvu ya Mungu ipo tu katika kujua. 
Because God wants every, each and everyone to understand. Once you understand, it's enough because the power of God dwells in understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tumefika. Are we there? Wa Korinto wa kwanza sura ya 12 mstari ule wa 4. First Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4. Anasema basi pana tofauti za karama bali roho ni yeye yule. Then there is different types of talents by the spirit is the same. Pana tofauti ya huduma bwana ni yeye yule. There is uh, different types of servants but God is the same. Kisha pana tofauti za kutenda kazi bali Mungu ni yeye yule atendaye kazi zote katika wote. There is a different kinds of working but the same God works all those uh, in all men. Unaona hapa kuna nguvu lakini zinatajwa kwenye vipawa, kwenye karama, kwenye miujiza, kwenye imani na vitu vingine. Si ni sawa? We see here there is a lot of different uh, powers but is mentioned in a different ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mwingine anaweza akawa na nguvu ya neno la Mungu. Mwingine ana nguvu ya miujiza. Mwingine ana nguvu ya imani. Zote ni nguvu ya vitendea kazi kupitia vipawa ambao Mungu anavishusha ndani ya mtu kama anavyotaka. Lakini nguvu hizo haziji zote mara moja. Sam- Lakini hizo nguvu kazi yake pia ni kufunua yale yaliyofunikwa na kufichwa ili watu wapate msaada wa kile Mungu anachotaka wakipate. Some may have the power of the word of God, some they have the power of miracle, and some they have the power of faith. But all in all God wants to help people by having these talents is to reveal the power of God for God may intervene and help his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio maana anasema azitendazo kazi zote ni Mungu yeye yule anayempa anayeweza kumsaidia kila mtu. That's why he say in all in every power is God that works in everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Au anasimamia vipawa hivyo au nguvu hizo za Mungu ni roho yeye yule. Si ndio ye? All the ones that supervise those power or those talents is the Holy Spirit. Usema amina kama unanielewa. Please say amen if you understand. Ndio maana sema ule msari wa 11 wa Konto 12 anasema lakini kazi hizi zote huzitenda roho huyo mmoja yeye yule akimgawia kila mtu peke yake kama apendavyo yeye. Amen. That's the, the verse 11 there if you read really you see this na kwa sababu hiyo basi and because of that kuna mambo ya msingi ambayo nataka nieleze there are so many the important things that a man of god would like to 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 explain wako watu wengi ndani ya kanisa there are so many people in the church walibeba visasi kwa miaka mingi that have been carrying vengeance for many years ndio maana hawavuki that's why they don't see the way through kisasi revenge ni nguvu lakini ya roho ya adui It's a power that comes from the spirit of the enemy. Umeelewa kitu ninasema? If you understand this point. Sema kisasi. Say revenge. Ni nguvu. It's a power. Inaweza ikamfunga mtu. That can bind a person. Inayotoka kwa adui. That comes from the enemy. Na kama haijawepo nguvu ya kukufungua, hautafunguka. And if there is no any other power to deliver you, you won't be delivered. Sema kisasi. Say revenge. Kwa hiyo kuna watu wengi ambao wamebeba visasi kwa miaka mingi ndio maana hawavuki ukiwa umebeba kisasi ndani ya moyo wako hiyo ni nguvu iliyokufunga huwezi kutoka there are so many people that have been carrying revenge for so many years that's why they don't see the way through as you're carrying revenge that is a power that is binding you you cannot see the way through unaelewa kitu nimesema do you understand what the man of god is saying kisasi ni nguvu revenge its power inayotoka kwa adui that comes from the enemy haitoki kwa mungu it does not come from god kwa mungu kipata kisasi one, in god once you have vengeance in your heart anakuambia usiwe na kisasi kisasi nitalipa mimi mungu asema bwana he tell you not to pay vengeance he gonna pay it as god semeandiko hivyo katika kitabu cha warumi sura ya 12 it written in roman chapter 12 mstari ile ya chini anasema kisasi si juu yenu kisasi ni juu yangu mimi bwana On the verses he say revenge does not belong to you belongs to me God. Kwa hiyo kisasi ukitendewa mambo mabaya ukabeba kisasi ndani ya moyo wako hiyo ni nguvu ambayo huwezi kutoka hata kama umeonewa hata kama Mungu anashuka usiku na mchana na nguvu zake hauwezi kutoka mpaka utakapokubali kwamba mimi na kisasi Mungu nisaidie Mungu ataachilia nguvu yake ambayo itakufungua kazi yake ni kufunua mahali ambapo ulifungwa ikifunuliwa namna hii kisasi ndani yako kinaondoka na kikiondoka mabadiliko yanaanza tena apya mapya kwa ajili ya maisha yako so if you're carrying revenge in, in your heart understand is a power that is binding you is until god intervene and will reveal that 
uh, that thing in you and then once you agree and say god it's true that i've been carrying revenge and you 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 you, you, you repent before him he going to help you through hallelujah hallelujah sema amina say amen kumbuka remember nguvu ya mungu ipo tu katika kujua the power of god is only once a person understands na ili kujua lazima mungu afunue mambo ya siri ambayo kwako yalikuwa kama fungo lakini yaliyokuwa yamekufunga and for you to understand god must review all the things that have been um, hidden of, of, on your eyes for you to be able to understand umeelewa have you understand na utakapofunguliwa na kisasi cha miaka mingi ambao umetendewa ndipo utajikuta hutakuwa na kisasi And once you're delivered from the revenge that you've been carrying for a long time, you find yourself a, pers- a peaceful person with no revenge. Confirm. For example, unaweza kaumizwa na watu bila kujali cheo chake, ngazi yake, iwe ni ya imani, iwe ya kibinadamu, iwe ya kikazi, ukaumizwa kwa ngazi ya yote ile. You may be people may hurt you. It doesn't matter the your position or levels in the spiritual uh, in the spiritual life or normal life. Na kwa sababu ukutegemea lazima unakuwa na kisasi ndani ya moyo wako. Kila ukimwangalia roho yako inaharibika kabisa. And because you are not expecting it, once you see the person, you feel you feel hurted, so you feel revenge toward that person. Yaani ni bora usingekutana naye barabarani. Ukikutana nani kama anaharibu siku yako. It's better if you don't see that person because once you see that person your day get be ruined. Ni sawa si sawa. That's okay or not? Umewahi kukutana na hiyo kitu? Have you ever faced that thing? Jaribu kufikiri. Try to imagine umefarakana na mtu akakusingizia kazini alafu kafukuzwa kazi a person accuse you at your workplace and you get fired na ukajua kabisa ume 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 ume, ume, ume tengenezewa figisu ama umetengenezewa ishu ambayo ni mbaya and you understand completely that something have been you being accused of things that you did not do alafu kaelewa hao maadui waliokutendea hiyo and you get to understand or to know the enemy that did that alafu kwenye nafasi yako akawekwa mtu mwingine ambao pia alikuwa anamfahamu ukajua huyu wamenitengenezea kitu kibaya and then in your position be, uh, you you'll be li, uh, replaced by another person that you know that they did something unajisikiaje how will you feel unaweza kaachiliwa kasema achana nao basi Mungu atanisaidia lakini angalia sawa utakapokutana nao iwe ni barabarani iwe ni mjini au kaingia kwenye duka pap na ye huyu hapa mkakutana nini natokea kwenye moyo wako In the moment you may say I I forgive I let go God gonna help me but let's ask ourselves once you meet them in the road on the shops when you see them what comes in your mind Nasema na mtu hapa Am I talking to a person Nini natokea kwenye moyo wako What happened to your heart Unasikia kuumia You feel pain Si ndio Right Utasikia uchungu You feel bitter Ni sawa si sawa Is that okay or not Utasikia kinyongo You gonna feel angry utaki ataka kumfurahia you don't even you know even joy to see the person ataka msalimia hata kama akisalimia yeye wewe utanyamaza you don't even greet that person even sawa, if she does will remain silence tayari kwenye ulimwengu wa roho umefungwa already in the spiritual realm you are bound mpaka ije nguvu ya Mungu ya kuja kufunua hiyo roho kwamba mwanangu roho hii itakuumiza mimi nafunua ili upate ili upate unachotaka kwa kipata achilia hii roho ndipo utakuwa salama until the power of god comes and reveal this that is hidden in your heart tell my daughter or my son you've been carrying this release for me to help you and then you get helped ngapi unaelewa is that okay how many people understand au kukuta mtu akakuibia or you find a person steal from you kwa njia yote ile in any way na ukachukua hatua za kisheria and you 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 took some t- steps uh, to other person na ukapata hakika kabisa atashughulikiwa lakini baada ya muda mchache ukamwona yuko mtaani na nakutana naye na kucheka tu you follow the law, the law about that but in a few months or days you find that person still uh, turning around just laughing at you bila kujali umeokoka utajisikiaje regardless are you christian how, how will you feel kwani usimfurahie why aren't you happy toward that person bona biblia inasema wapendeni adui zenu why the bible says love your enemies kuna adui wa wamegawanyika mara ngapi there is so many types of enemies How many people understand the point of the man of God? Hata kama biasa mwapendeni adui zenu kwa kweli hutampenda. 
If it knows the Bible tells us to love our enemies, surely you won't love that person. Kwa sababu amekufunga. Because I've bound you. Mpaka Mungu aje akufungua mwenye upendo ndio utawapenda hata kama hutashirikiana nao, lakini moyo wao wako hutakuwa na shida. Kwa sentence ya Kiswahili ya sasa ungesema hutawabeba tena moyo wako. Is until God the God of love come and deliver you from that curse, and then you're going to love them. Even though you won't uh, have a fellowship with them, but you you're going to forgive them in your heart. Vinginevyo? Otherwise, utajuaje una kisasi au una kinyongo ndani yako? How will you understand that you're carrying vengeance in your heart? Juu ya wale walio kufunga au walio kuumiza? About the people that bound you or they've hurt you. Utaona hata kama umeokoka? You will see even though you're Christian. Unapoona matendo hayo niliyotoa ushuhuda au niliyotoa mfano? If you see the things that the man of God have mentioned, utaona hata wakipiga magoti asema Mungu ujulikane. Naomba ujulikane kwao juu ya maadui zangu. Wengine wanasema muue kabisa. Mungu siafi. Muue haraka ijulikano na nitetea Bwana. You're going to say in your prayer once you kneel down you're going to say God maybe know that your God of my side uh, please kill them kill them very quick so your name me glorify Maana amekuumiza moyo si ndio Because that person have Sasa hayo uwezi kwenda kumwambia pastor wako nimemwomba hivi lakini ah kenda kanisani Bwana asifiwe tunashinda kwa imani Hallelujah. Lakini nasema ashindwa kabisa. Ukisikia amevunjika mguu asema hallelujah. Those things you cannot tell it to your pastor but once hallelujah. you go to church you're very kind and polite but when you hear problem happens to your enemy you say amen that's my god. Kama umekaa na mtu mnaelewana If you always a person that you understand each other. Utamwambia na bado atavunjika mwingine. You're going to say don't cheat you're going to break the second leg. Lakini sio wenyewe wale wengine ndio wanafanyaga hivyo. But not us those other people. Sasa nataka kuonyesha ikiwa namna hii ujue umefungwa na kisasi cha adui. Now the man of God would like to show us if you see this way understand your bounds by the anger or the revenge of the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wako watu wengi ambao wameugua kwa muda mrefu sana. There are so many people that have been sick for so long. Ni wagonjwa kwa muda mrefu sana kwa sababu ya hicho kinyongo. They are sick for so long because of that grieving ni kwa sababu wameshindwa kuachilia watesi wao ndani ya mioyo yao is because they felt to release or forgive their enemies in their hearts mungu anaposema hakuna lisilowezekana kwake aaminie maana yake kama una kinyongo hata kama mungu anataka kukuponya hawezi kukuponya when god says there is nothing impossible to the believer that means once you're carrying revenge god cannot heal you even if you're sick hallelujah hallelujah na naponena maneno haya ndio ta compare na moyo wako talinganisha na moyo wako hayo naye sema je ni nayo mimi au hayako ndani yangu when the man of god is speaking this word is then we need to compare our hearts if these things in our lives or not maana vinginevyo miaka mingi itapita na umeshaumizwa miaka mingi unakumbukumbu bado he na ishara yake nikakwambia ukikutana hao maadui iwe ni dar es salaam iwe ni nairobi iwe ni siku ukutana naye pap ndipo utajua una kinyongo au huda kinyongo juu yao maana ndiko kile kitu kinaonekana ndani ya moyo wako otherwise you gonna car- you have been carrying this for many years you have not see your way through and you gonna keep on carrying this and how you gonna know is when you you have the encounter with the people that have hurted you you then what is in your heart gonna be revealed unanielewa do you understand kama unanielewa mpungie mkono wako wa baraka if you understand please with your blessing hand ukielewa namna hiyo if you understand this way nitakwambia jambo nalofuata the man of god gonna tell us a next thing haijalishi miaka mingapi it does not matter how many years Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Umedhulumiwa miaka mingapi? For how long do your things have been Shetana taken? Shetani alichofanya aliacha kumbukumbu hiyo ndani, alafu ni ishara ya kwamba umefungwa na kisha ukafunikwa. That is a sign the devil is putting that have left that in your heart, it that you're bound and you're well covered by him. Mpaka Mungu alitume neno lake. Is until God send his word. Ambalo pia lina nguvu. That has power. Juu ya eneo hilo. Above that thing. Na sumbe amepakwa bafuta. And the bishop is anointed. Kwa kikisha naponena haya. To make sure that once he speaks this. Saa ninapoanza kuomba. With the time that he begins to pray. Hizo kumbukumbu liofunikwa na maadui wakao na halali wa kukuatamia kwenye ulimwengu wao leo zitavunji. 
physical. Those bad memory that our enemy have been supervising in the spiritual realm today going to be break apart. Utajua ate zimevunjika. How will you know that I've been breaking apart? Utajikuta kile kinyongo kimeondoka chenyewe automatically. You find the grieving in your heart going to disappear automatically. Utajikuta hivyo visasi vimeondoka vyenyewe. You're going to find revenge getting away automatically. Utajikuta unaweza kusamea na kuachilia. You find yourself able of forgiving and forget. Utajikuta umekuwa na furaha nyingi sana. You're going to find yourself filled to of happiness. Utajikuta unawapenda maadui zako na kuwahurumia hata kama ushirikiani nao kibinadamu kiraisi. Lakini moyoni mwako umewaachilia na kuwapenda na kuwahurumia. Ujue mbingu imeshuka ile kifuniko kilichofuniko nacho kimeondolewa na wewe unakwenda stage nyingine. You find yourself feeling pity for your enemies and forgive them by that you understand wherever that was covering you have been taken and now heaven is on your side uponyaji leo utatoka utapita kwenye roho za watu wa ajabu sana ambao ulikuwa uwezi kupita na kuambia utapita utakuwa na shangaa imekuwaje umekuwa kama mtoto mdogo kama mtoto mchanga ah mwambie mwanzako hii ni new season maana yake unakwenda kiwango kingine sema amina today healing gonna pass in a remarkable way that everybody gonna feel like a, a little child now once you feel that tell yourself this is another level sema amina say amen watu wengine wameshindwa kupandishwa madaraja yao kazini kwa sababu ya uchungu na kinyongo some of people could, uh, they, they are not elevated in their workplaces because they have been carrying revenge mambo mengine wewe yasikie tu unapohubiri lakini wasikie kwa mwingine kama wewe huna wewe yasikie tu lakini ngoja yakupate ndio utajua hujui You know some things is just easy to hear them but once you're facing them it's very tough. Nataka niseme pole pole. The man of God would like to speak this slowly. Kuna watu wengi wameshindwa kupandishwa madaraja yao kazini mwao. There are so many people that are not elevated in their workplace. Kwa sababu wale waliowafanyia hizo fijisu wamebaki na hivyo vinyongo kujua fulani ndio amekuwa kizingiti changu. Fulani ndio amezuia. Ilikuwa nafasi kabisa. Ilikuwa hivi kabisa. Ilikuwa nitoke kabisa. Ilikuwa niende kabisa. Ilikuwa waje kabisa. Lakini huyu 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 na ukampata kabisa. Ukabaki na kinyongo. Because once you understand the enemy and what they did you understand this person and this person they did one two three they are my obstacle to reach this you've been carrying that for many years Unajua kisasi na kinyongo There is a difference between bitterness and a revenge Nakuwa na uchungu na kinyongo Ah there is bitterness and grudge and revenge Na ukisikia hata ukisikia kusamea haiko kabisa And once you see them even the, the, the thing that it comes to forgive you don't even feel it. Unasema hakika iko siku yao. You say surely there is a day for this. Labda, la, labda nisiwe kwenye madhabahu ambayo Mungu ameniweka. Na kama nimewekwa kwenye madhabahu Mungu ameniweka na muamini mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye amewekwa na anatusaidia hata wengine wakiwa hapa wasema hata kama tuko vuka Jordan na kuambia wataisoma namba matokeo yake ndio unaona unaendelea kukaukiwa unakau because a lot of people they say no maybe if not i am the right author but if i am and i believe the man of god and whatever that he teaches so they they gonna see my god once you do that you find yourself shrink and shrink day after day mungu hataki kisasi god don't like revenge hatapata utukufu he won't receive uh, he won't be glorified na kufundisha njia nyepesi The man of God is teaching us an easy way. Amba Mungu ameifunua kwangu. That God has revealed it to him. Kwa uwezo wa neno lake. By the power of his word. Biblia nasema. The Bible says. Ulituma neno lake kuponya. He sent his word to heal. Leo nina neno la kukufungua na kukuponya, alafu maadui zako wapelekewe ile beria ya kushughulikiwa. Today the man of God have a word that's going to heal you and deliver you and everything that the enemy did going to return to them. Sema amina. Say amen. Sema amina bwana. Say amen. Ngoja nikwambie kuna mtu mmoja kwenye Biblia alitaka vitu vya kimungu Mungu akumpa vitu hivyo vya kwake Mungu kwa sababu alikuwa na kinyongo na kifungo kibaya cha ovu There is a person in the Bible that wanted things from God but God did not give him because he was carrying a grudges in his heart Unamkumbuka anaitwa Simon Mchawi His name was Simon the witch Zamani alikuwa mchawi Before he was a witch Zamani alikuwa mshirikina uh, He was um lakini akaamua kuokoka. But he decided to give him, him life, his life to Christ. 
na akaenda kanisani and he went to church kama mimi na wewe as you and i kabla hujamjua yesu alienda kwa waganga before you knew christ you went to the witch doctors kama hujaenda ulipelekwa if you did not go by yourself you were taken there hayo yote alikuwa anahangaika na maisha all those you were suffering for the life lakini ulipojua kweli ya mungu kaenda kanisani but once you knew the truth of christ you went to church ukafundishwa neno la mungu na watumishi wa mungu you were taught the word of god by the servants of god ukaijua njia ya kweli ya mungu and then you came to understand the true way of christ lakini kama uliwahi kufanywa vitu huko nyuma But if some things happen to you back then na unafanya kazi and you are working na kwenye madhabahu Mungu ametangaza kuinuliwa kubarikiwa utaona watu wengine wanachomoka wanatoka wanatoka lakini wamekaa ni kama unakaukiwa and in the altar God pronounce every day blessing and people you see them elevated but you you shrink and shrink ujue kuna shida mahali fulani understand there is a problem somewhere na hiyo shida ndio inafunuliwa leo and that problem is being reviewed today na hiyo shida ndio itaondoka leo and that problem gonna get out today na kutoka leo and from today hata kama kampuni yako taasisi yako kwa tajiri wako hajui kupandisha watu viwango na sio mwezi wake kwaambia ukitoka leo ukishafunguliwa utakwenda kuanza kupandishwa viwango vyako even if where you work your workplace your company or if you work in any institution and they don't know how to promote people from to, after this day you're going to be promoted hebu sema amina kama unanielewa please say amen if you understand sema amina tena kama unanielewa say amen again if you understand Haleluya. Haleluya. Ngoja tusome hili neno la Mungu. Let's read this word of God. Maana hii inajumuisha pia kuna watumishi ambao wamemtumikia Mungu lakini kwa maneno waliopita ni magumu sana. Because this includes the servants of God have been serving God but have been going through hardships. Wanawito ndani yao lakini hautaki kutambuliwa. They have calling but they cannot be recognized. Sio wanadamu hawataki kutambua my friend. It's not that human don't want to recognize. Lakini una kitu kizuri na watu wakisikia sema kitu lakini baada ya muda ni kama unasahaulika. People once they hear what you have they say it's a good thing but after a while, while you'll be forgotten. Kuna mambo yanafunuliwa leo. The things are being revealed today. Ngoja nikwambie Christ. Let, let the man of God tell you wakati is he, kitabu hichi. As you opening this book. Kitabu cha ufunuo wa Yohana. The book of Revelation of John. Sijasema usome. I did not say you Nataka should read. Nataka tunisikilize. I want just you to listen. Tutasoma matendo ya Mitume sura ya 8. We gonna read the book of Acts the chapter 8. Kitabu cha ufunuo wa Yohana. The book of Revelation. Kina sifa ya Mungu mwenyewe kukiandika na kukifunika. There is a, it have an, an a praise of God writing it and, and cover it. Ukikiangalia kimeandikwa ufunuo. Once you you read it it's written revelation. Lakini ukikisoma hakifunuki. But once you read it does not review himself. Kwa sababu Mungu amekifunika. Because God have covered it. Mpaka Mungu anapolituma neno lake. Is until God send his words. Kukuonyesha hicho kitabu. To show you that book. Kwenye hiyo sura. In that chapter. Aliyekusudia. That is uh, have put it for you. Ndipo atakufunulia alikuwa na maanisha nini? Is then he going to review what he was meaning? Akishafunua na watu wakaelewa. Once he review and people understand. Ndipo watu watatoka kutokana na kile ambacho Mungu alikusudia kwa ajili ya ule ufunuo leko mefunikwa is then god people gonna see way through according to the proper purpose of god adui nae shetani the enemy devil akimfunga mtu kwenye ulimwengu wa roho once he bind the person in the spiritual realm ananena na maneno he speak with the words ndio maana unaweza kuona kwa mawakala wao that's why you can see with the agents na agent wao they are agents wanasema they say mtu huyu hata kaa afunguke this person will never be delivered we have a swear mtu huyu tumetia saini hakikisha atakufa kwa kafara this person who have signed that surely he gonna die by sacrifice Pisha. We have swayed ourselves. Mungu akija. When God comes. Umempenda. Will you love him? Umepita miaka mingi. You pass many many years. Na unaona na makaburi. And you see grief. Na unaona umekata tamaa. And you see you're giving up. Na unaona maisha yako yanafika mwisho. And you see the end of your life. Lakini roho yako. But your heart. Ikasema kuanzia sasa. You say from this moment. Nitakalokuwa na liwe. Whatever happen let it happen. Lakini mimi niko kwa Mungu. But I belong to God. Bwana ukitaka niishi. But God if you wish for me to live. Nitaishi. I will live. Ukitaka nife. If you wish for me to Basi mimi nitakufa. And then I would die. Mungu anapoona moyo wa namna hiyo. Once God sees such such heart. Mungu anakuja kwa neno lake. God comes with his words. Anafunua. He reveals it. Kile kilichofunikwa. What was covered. Kwa ajili yako. For you. Kikishafunuliwa. Once it's revealed. Unaelewa Mungu anasema nini? You understand what God says. Ukishaelewa. Once you understand. Mauti naondoka yenyewe. Yes, get away by himself. Mauti naondoka yenyewe. Yes, run away by himself. Nani alewa kitu nasema? You understand what the man of God is saying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio maana watumishi wengi nayo wamefungwa namna hiyo. That's why a lot of servants of God have been bound that way. Wamezuiliwa muda mrefu. They've been uh, uh, prevented for Nina long time. Ni habari njema. The man of God have good Mahali news. Mahali popote wanaposikiliza. Anywhere that they are listening. Mungu ana mpango kukuinua kuanzia leo. God have the purpose of raising you from today. 
Unasema mbona nimeomba sana? You may say I've been praying for so long. Mbona hayafunuki? And is this since they not be real? Nikwambie. The man of God will like Yalikuwa yamefunikwa na adui. They were covered by the enemy. Unasema huyu hata kainuke. They say this one will never be lifted up. Hata sikika. He will never be heard. Hata hangaika tu. Gonna suffer. Hakuna watu atakaye mtambua. No people gonna understand. Hata kama ana kitu kizuri. Even if you have something very good. Aha. Yes. Leo tangazo linasema? Today the announcement says. Hautatumia nguvu nyingi kuomba. You only use a lot of energy to pray. Mbingu The heaven gonna open straight. Kwa nini? Why? Kwa sababu kuna kitu kimefunuliwa. Because there is something that has been revealed. Kilichokuwa kimefunikwa. That it was covered. Hebu sema amina kama una nielewa. Say amen if you understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kuna watu ambao ni watumishi wa Mungu. There are some people that are serving God. Wanatumika chini ya madhabahu ya watumishi wa Mungu ambao Mungu amewapa. They serve them, the God and as they serve the altar that were given. Hali popote duniani. Anywhere in the world. Watu hao those people wanahitaji stake zao kwa sababu Mungu amewaachisha kazi zao za mikono yao akawataka wamtumikie. They they deserve the award because God stopped them by walking to serve him. Mungu anataka mtumikie because God wants them to serve him. Na watumishi wanajua. And the servants of God they understand this. Fulani, that this person fulani, and this person fulani, and this person fulani, and this person wamewako kwenye madhabahu hii. God has put them in this altar. Na wamekuwa baraka. And they have been blessed. Na Mungu amewaita. And God have called them. Ameacha kazi zao. They left their work. Wameitwa kwenye ufalme wa Mungu. They come to and work in the kingdom of God. Wameunganishwa na hiyo madhabahu. They have been connected with the altar. Na watumishi hao wanajua. And those servants they understand. Lakini wanapofika kwenye stake zao. But when it comes to the year right. Kupata haki yao ya kimadhabahu. To get the year right of the altar. Wanaonekana kama wanawasaidiwa tu. They have been seen as if they just receiving a help. Wanaonekana kama hawastahili. They have been seen as if they, they are not worthy. Na hata wakipewa, they don't deserve it. Wanapewa kama watumwa tu ambao ni kama si hasa hawana kitu. And the ones they are given they are given like slaves that are not worthy of anything. Nataka niwaambie. I want to tell you. Kwenye madhabahu yote walipo. In any altar that they may be. Staiki zao ziko kwenye madhabahu. They are right in the altar. Kwa sababu Mungu amewaachisha kazi za mikono yao. Because God stops the work of their hands. Na alikuwa na uwezo wa kuwabariki kwenye kazi ya mikono yao na wakaendelea. And God could bless them where they were working and they could move forward. Lakini wameletwa kwenye madhabahu. But they were brought to the altar. Kama vile ambavyo Musa pamoja na Haruni na wana wa Harun. Like Moses and Harun and the children of Harun. Wanahitaji staiki zao. They need to your right. Kwa sababu wana maisha yao. Because they have their own life. Ndipo then wakati utakapofanya hivyo na kutambua hilo kwa Mungu and once you do that and understand that in the eyes of God ndipo madhabahu hizo zitainuliwa na Mungu is then those altars are going to be elevated by God himself because they tend the cause of Mungu because they do the work of God na wale watakao kataa and as the ones are going to risk hadi wanachua wamepewa watu hao when they understand they were given this people but they don't give the year rise na wakiwapa and once they give them they come and they do as if they are just helping them kwenye mioyo wameweka kama wanawasaidia in their hearts they take it as they just helping them hilo ni chukizo. That is a detestable. How they don't help them. It's they are right. Sawa sawa na Mungu anavyokuongoza. According to the lead of God. Utapokuwa na furaha nao. As you are happy with them. Na kufanya kazi ya staiki zao wakapata kwa uaminifu. And as, what they work for they get they are right. Sawa sawa na uongozi wa Mungu. According to the leadership of God. I want to tell utamuona you. Utamuona Mungu kwa mapana na nguvu zake kwa namna ya ajabu sana. You gonna see God abundantly. Maana Mungu ana utaratibu wake. Because God have his own instructions. Kutoka leo. From today watu hao hawatazuiliwa those people won't be uh, pro, uh, provided ukiwazuia once you you you, you block them mungu atafanya njia god gonna make a way na kwako itakuwa mapigo and to you it's gonna be a punishment sema amina kama unanielewa please say amen if you understand sema amina kama unanielewa say amen if you understand kitabu cha matendo ya mitume sijasahau the book of act sura ya 8 chapter 8 Tutaangalia ule msari wa 23 na 24. We gonna see verse 23 to 24. Hapa ni habari ya watumishi wa Mungu mitume waliposikia kwamba Samaria imehubiriwa injili na watu wameokoka ehe wakaenda kuwaombea uchazo wa Roho Mtakatifu. It's about the apostles when they heard about Samaria that people gave their life to Christ. They were saved. They went there to pray for them to receive Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na wakati wanaomba and when they were praying for the people wa kupata staiki za kimungu ambaye alikuwa anastahili kuzipata ndani ya kanisa the somebody that didn't get the right from god and he was supposed to get ule wa uungu wa mungu ulitaka uje ndani ya kanisa uje ndani ya kila moja lakini tunaona mmoja wapo ule uungu nakataa kuingia kwa sababu ya kile ambacho kilikuwa kimepandwa ndani yake na kimefunikwa 
We see the power of God was coming to the people in that church when the apostles were praying, but there was one man that did not receive it because something was wrong in his heart. Kimefunikana adui. In the something was covered by the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Angalia ule msari wa 23 unasema kwa maana 23 Sura ya 8 matendo ya mitume msari wa 23 na 24 anasema kwa maana na kuona u katika uchungu kama nyongo na tena u katika kifungo cha uovu. He say I see you in bitterness and you in captive of sin u katika kifungo cha uovu you are in the captive of sin kifungo ndio kilichokumfunika asipate vile vipawa ambao watumishi wa Mungu walitumiwa kwa siku hiyo watu kuchazwa na Roho Mtakatifu is that particular captive that prevented him to receive the power of holy spirit that the, the, the apostles were praying for the church Mungu anaona ndani ya Petro anamuona mtu huyu ambaye naye ni mshirika kanisani anaona amefungwa miaka mingi anamwambia hivi kwa maana na kuona manake katika roho ndani ya roho ya mtu manake uwezi kuiona ndani roho ya mtu katika mwili wa damu na nyama manake alikuwa katika roho bibi asema nilikuwa katika roho asema bwana wakati mtumishi wa Mungu Yohana anaandika kitabu cha ufunuo wakati anamuona Yesu anajifunua kwake tunaenda sawa Peter was seeing in spirit like how jo- See in spirit when he was reading the book of John. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anamwambiaje? Msoma hapo. Na kuona nini? He tell him in in 20 in verse 23 that I see you that you are full of bitterness and you are in captive in of sin. Na kuona katika uchungu. I see you in bitterness. Kama nyongo. Anaposema kama nyongo maana yake una kinyongo. When you see you're bitter that means you you have that you're carrying that. Maana yake anamuona wapi kwenye moyo wake, si sawa? He see in his heart. Na tena u katika kifungo cha uovu. And you in captive to sin. Umeelewa hapo? Have you understand? Anamwambia u katika kifungo, akikwambia katika kifungo sio katika uhuru. Hata kama uko kanisani, una kifungo. When he say in captive, it, you, that means you're not free even if you in church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Angalia Simon akajibu akasema Niombeeni ninyi kwa Bwana. Yasini yasinifikilie mambo haya uliyosema hata moja. Then Simon replied and say pray to me to the Lord for none of these things who happen to me who happen to me. Niombeeni kwa Bwana. Pray for me to the Lord. Maana yake ni kweli unayosema moyo wangu ndivyo ulivyo. Sasa aliyefungwa hajifunguagi. Kwa hiyo wewe uliyopewa neema hii niombee kwa Bwana nifunguliwe yasinipate hata moja. Alafu nikifunguliwa ni, ni yasinipate hata moja nitapata vitu vya Mungu ambavyo ni stake yangu vijendani yangu. That means he agree that is true he was bound by that power of bitterness. So he say for, because once a person is in ca- captive he cannot deliver or free himself. Uh, so he say to the man of God pray for me to the Lord for I may be delivered and receive the things from God. Ndio maana katika kitabu cha Zaburi 107 mstari ule wa 20 anasema eh, Mungu hulituma neno lake kuwafungua waliofungwa. That's why in the book of Psalm 107 chapter, uh, verse 20 say He sent his word to deliver the ones that are bound. Kwa hiyo Simon hapa alikuwa anatoa tafsiri kusema hivi aliyefungwa hawezi kujifungua. Kwa kuwa nilifungwa na nikafunikwa, ninajiona niko sawa lakini nimefunikwa. Ninaomba kuanzia leo nifungue wewe mwenye neema hiyo, nifungue ili niweze kuvipata vya kimungu ambao Mungu anataka kama wengine. So here Simon was giving the explanation that is true once a person is is in prison or is in cast you cannot deliver yourself for the man of God that you are given the favor please help me to set me free Sema amina kama unanielewa Say amen if you understand Na wewe unataka ufunguliwe And to you do you want me to Kumbu kumbu zozote za zamani ziondolewe You want to be delivered from all the bad memories Hata kama ili kinyongo kiondoke So even if your heart at once for the bitterness to get out Uweze kusamea na kuachilia? So you may able to forgive and forget and release. Ngoja nikwambie. Let me tell you something. Utakapoelewa mambo haya. As you understand these things. Dakika chache zijazo utakaposhika moyo wako. Few minutes to come as you hold your heart. Hata kama umeumizwa na ndugu yako na wazazi wako na jamaa zako na mume wako na mke wako na watoto wako na kazini kwako. Hata 
kama ni miaka 20 iliyopita hiyo kitu bado iko imefunikwa na ukitaka leo utakapofunguliwa nataka nikwambie hivi vitu vitapita vya uponyaji ndani kwa ndani kwenye roho yako na kuanzia sasa kila kitu kitakaa sawa baada ya hapo utashangaa vitu vinapandishwa kama ni kazini unapandishwa kazi Amen. kama ni biashara unapata maarifa mengine ya biashara Amen. As Kama ni ndoa utaiona ni nzuri kuliko ilivyoiona jana kuliko juzi kuliko mwaka jana As you willing to listen to this and receive it as a man of God gonna pray you gonna be free and everything even if you've been carrying it for 20 years as the power of God gonna pass and they deliver everyone you gonna see everything if it's in your workplace on your marriage everything gonna go back to normal Sema amina kama unanielewa Say amen if you understand Hallelujah. 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 Vifungo vyote vinakwenda kuondoka katika jina la Yesu. All chains are going to disappear in Jesus name. Vikiondoka na baki huru kweli kweli. Once they disappear you're going to be free free completely. Utashanga utashanga mambo haya yamerahisishwaje? You're going to be surprised how these things have become easy. Utashangaa inakuaje sumbe? You'll be surprised how, how what is what is going on sumbe. Mambo haya yalishindikana hata kwetu hatuonani, hatupendani, hatushirikiani. Nakwambia yataondoka mtatafutana, mtatafutana, gonna, mtatafutana, mtatafutana. You're going to be surprised this thing we're no longer in our marriage. We don't see each other but now you're going to look each other once again. Na watajua Mungu yuko katikati yenu. And they're going to know God is in the middle of you. Sema amina. Say amen. Yale magumu yanakwenda kuondoka. Those the hurt things are going to disappear. Pia. Hallelujah. Na vizazi vyenu vinakuwa vinakwenda vya baraka. And your generation going to be blessed. Watakapopambana na wewe hawatapambana na wewe watapambana na Mungu ali hai. Are they going to fight you? They won't fight you. They're going to fight the living God. Maana wewe hutajua utaona matokeo tu yanatokea kwa ghafla yale ambao wanapambana na wewe siri kwa sababu yamefunuliwa wao nawapenda lakini mabaya nawapata. Unajua ah kumbe hao ndio walinipiga goli la wakati ule. Sasa wanapigwa goli la mbele kwa mbele na wao nasonga mbele na wao nasonga mbele. Amen. As your enemy going to try everything and you won't even know but you're going to see when God review everything they did you're going to understand these all the people that tormented me for a long time but now the God have given power for me to move forward. Please say amen. Nipungie mkono namna hii. Just wave your hands to the man of God like Jesus Christ maneno yake mwambie amina na kweli. Wave Jesus Christ and his words. Ufalme wa adui unaelewa kitu kinachoendelea. The kingdom of the enemy understand this points. Hata wewe leo utaelewa kinachoendelea. And even today they going to understand what is going on. Kuna watu wamefunikwa kwenye biashara zao. There are some people that are covered in their businesses. Business. Na wanampenda Mungu. And they love God. Lakini nataka nikwambie. But I want to tell you. Adui alipoona wivu kwa nini wanafanikiwa. When the enemy was jealous of your prosper. Wao wakafikiri labda walienda kumsujudia adui. They think maybe you went and worship the devil. Wakagundua kwa kinywa chako kwamba wao wanamtegemea Mungu. They understood by your tongue that you depend on God. Wakakukaribia marafiki ambao hawakuwa sawa na Mungu. And some friends approached you that they were not on the side of God. Na wewe hukuwajua. And you did not know them ukafikiri ni marafiki tu you sort they are good friends tena wakao wanyenyekevu kama wanaomba ushauri yani kama wako tayari kujifunza hata ukisema neno kidogo ni kama wanashangaa kama wanashangaa kwa hiyo wanakuona wao maana wanaona kama wewe ndio unawafundisha unawapa mbinu wako chini kumbe wanatafuta moyo wako watapata wapi they come with this uh, garment of humbleness that they are uh, interrogating you asking you things and once you explain to them it's like they want to learn they are surprised each and every word that comes out of your mouth Wali pata moyo wako wote wa kibiashara they got your heart of business kutoka hapo from then wakalipeleka jina lako kuzimu they took your name to hell wakalinuizia siku saba and as i spoke bad evil words for seven days baada ya siku saba after seven days baada ya siku saba after seven days asema baada ya siku saba after seven days kumaliza maombi yao ya kufunga katika ulimwengu wa roho wa maadui when they finish this uh, 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 First thing of 7 days in the spiritual realm of the enemy. Yalikabidhiwa majini maalum sasa. So uh, special demons were given this task. Kila usiku na mchana. Every day and night. Majini yanakaa kwenye anga lako. The demons dwell in your uh, heaven space. Wananena kufilisika. They speak bankrupt. Wananena mikosi kwenye biashara zao. They speak tragedy in your Uh, in your business wananena mahangaiko they speak wandering around and suffering wananena mikos they speak tragedy baada ya hapo afterwards ulipoanza kushuka once you start dropping yourself down 
faida zinaanza kushuka all the benefits are going down baada faida kushuka unaona mitaji inaanza kukata all the benefit going down and the capital of your business going down baada hapo after that wale waliokuwa wamekukaribia kama wanajifunza kwako the people approached you as they were, they were learning from you ghafla wakaondoka immediately they disappeared unajaribu leo kuwata watu ambao walikuwa wao wanakubembeleza kukutafuta kama una nafasi hata kidogo tuonane jamani hata nimekumisi hata nikuone tu baada ya hapo hawakutafuti wewe ndio unaanza kuwatafuta angalau kama watakuwa faraja wakakaa mbali na wewe they disappear and once you're searching for them they they are not they are no longer available while they came they used to come and approach you if you have time we are missing you and one two three but now you're in trouble you're looking for them they're not where to be found ukapata uchungu you get you go bitter ukawa na kikyongo you had that bitterness hata ujui cha kufanya you didn't know what to do nasema haya yanafunuliwa leo and i say this have been reviewed today haya yanapofunuliwa and the ones have been reviewed unafunguliwa you'll be delivered na majini yale saba and those seven demons ambayo yame tumwa kwako that have been sent to you na mengine yakakuletea kukata tamaa and some they bring you giving up kutoka hapo kaanza kuumwa from then you start get sick na ujue ufanyaje unaona mauti and you don't know what to do you see that sema kuanzia sasa i say from this moment utafunguliwa you gonna be You're gonna be free. Na majini yataondoka. And those demons gonna disappear. Na yako narudi. And your health gonna be restored. Biashara yako itarudi. And your business gonna be restored. Sema amen kama unanielewa. Say amen if you understand. Mungu anaumia sana anapoona mitego ambayo adui ameitegea kanisa na kanisa hawajui. God is grieving when he see the oh, the, the attacks or oh, The, the attack of the enemy and the church don't understand that. Mungu anaumia sana. God get to be grieving. Maana wewe hujaumba mtu kwa mfano wake. Wewe uliumbwa. Because you did not create a person with your own image. You were created by God. Mungu ana uchungu sana ataki roho ya mtu yote ipotee. God doesn't wish for any soul to get lost. Ipotee kiroho ipotee kimaisha ipotee kimafanikio. To be lost spiritually, to be lost in life, to be lost in in, in wealth. Uko tayari? Are you ready? utaushika moyo wako you gonna hold your heart kuna vitu vinakwenda kuhama automatically there are things that are going to be shifted automatically baba asante father thank you shika moyo wako just hold your heart touch your heart nataka nikupe uhuru ambao Mungu ananipa hapa the man of god would like to give you a chance that god is giving him ninapokwenda kukataro uliopandiwa ya kisasi na kinyongo When he going to rebuke the spirit that was uh, planting you in you the, the spirit of bitterness Waka, and grudges wakati umeshika moyo wako as you touching your heart wengine watasikia msukumo wa roho mtakatifu kuja huku mbele some of them they gonna feel the, the push of the holy spirit to, to step forward wengine kwenye viti watasikia kupiga magoti some of them they gonna feel like kneeling down wengine watasikia tu kukaa hapo hapo some of them they gonna feel like being composure Naomba uwe huru. Be, be free. Naomba Roho Mtakatifu yuko hapa. The Holy Spirit is here. Akikusukuma kuja mbele jisikie huru. Once he's, he's touching you to come forward, come forward. Maana maombi yana ninapofanya ni kwa ajili ya hatima ya watu. Because the prayer the man of God is going to do is for people's destiny. Na kuzimu inatabika saa hii. And the hell is suffering right now. Nasema kuzimu inatabika saa hii. He say hell is suffering right now. Maana itaachia watu wote kila kifungu walichokuwa wamefungwa because he's gonna release each and every one and there's a curse that they cast them shika kifua chako just touch your chest kwenye sehemu ya moyo wako in the part of your heart baba asante father thank you watu wako wamelisikia neno lako your people have heard your word na wamekubali ndivyo ilivyo and they are willing and agree that it that is how it is wame kwa na roho ya kisasi ambayo imefunikwa hawakuijua that have been hit by the power of revenge and they did not know na wengine kinyongo and some they were bitted wakawa na uchungu they were they were holding grudges wakashindwa kusamea na kuachilia juu ya maadui zao kwenye mioyo yao they couldn't forgive and forget their enemy in their hearts lakini bwana but wewe, lord wewe ulituma neno lako you send your word leo umenipa kibali Today you have given the man of God the favor. Na nguvu na mamlaka yako. Power and your authority. Katika kiwango cha tofauti. In another way, in another level. I, ili kila mmoja atolewe. For each and every one to be set free. Kwa uwezo wa jina la Yesu Kristo ali hai. By the power of the name of Jesus Christ the living God. Kutoka sasa. From now. 
Tazama mio yao. See there your hearts. Chochote kilichofunika. Anything that is covering. Na kikapata uhalali wa kumtesa. And got an opportunity to torment. I refuse that uh, spirit of revenge. I refuse the power of revenge that has been dwelling for so many years in these people's hearts. And your people did not have power to get, to get out of it. From this revenge. From these grudges. I pray in the name of Jesus. From this moment. The spirit of revenge. The spirit of revenge that is covering the life of this person after being done bad things by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Release. Release. Everything that you're covering this person. Everything that you're putting like an obstacle. I say in Jesus Christ's name. Release your hearts. Release your hearts. Release your hearts. In Jesus Christ's name. I declare those grudges to disappear. I declare for those grudges to disappear. Revenge, release. And let your healing pass, O Lord. Let your miracle pass, O Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name I set them free from them now I set them free from now The ones that have been chained for many years ago The ones that have been chained their ways They have been chained their callings They have been preventing from their rights They are rights from their authors They are rights of being elevated To be released Revenge disappear. Persecution of death get out. In Jesus name. 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 I deliver your heart. How to fungo tena? You never be bound again. I open your mindset. How to zuiliwa tena? You won't be stopped ever again. In Jesus name. I release the power of the spirit of, of forgiveness in their hearts for them not to carry ever again their enemies I pray for them to able to forgive their enemies I pray for them to forgive their enemies I pray for them to let go from their hearts and from this moment God elevate them I purify them by your words in Jesus Christ's name God you purify each and every one you are passing and purify them and they are healing a passing over them God for those that have been blocked from their bridges I declare from this moment they elevate their bridges in their workplaces they elevate them from their workplaces the ones have been covered and forgotten. You demons. You demons. That have been blocking the favor of this person. And they put a darkness. And then you put darkness for his way. You put darkness over his business. You put darkness over the, the healthy. You put darkness over his position. I command that darkness. I command those people release this person release his ways release his position you're going to be elevated from today to be elevated from today to be elevated from today be elevated from today be elevated to another level be elevated in your calling be elevated in your blessings be elevated in Jesus name anything that is covering you be destroyed be open the power of God belongs to the 
where it comes with no, understanding. Chua, and now you've understood. What you are doing, the kingdom of the enemy in be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. The person that be covering your husband. And he was misled by the enemies. I call back your husband. I, I call back the vow of your husband. The man of God is calling that husband. You ways of demons. That you capture the mindset of that man. And they forget his marriage. I'm speaking to you demon. Release that marriage. Because it's written. A marriage should be respected by everyone. I command you that you're holding the mindset of this man and I cause him to leave his marriage I disconnect you from I disconnect you from demons I disconnect you from demons release from children I say mortal 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 I say and go back to your family. Go back to your marriage. Go back to your children. Go back to your wife. In Jesus' name. A, a chain of conflict. In Jesus Christ's name. A chain of conflict. The spirit of conflict wherever it may be. Should be destroyed from this moment. Be destroyed from this moment. In Jesus Christ's name. I open the, his ways. I open your, your financial. I open your wealth. I, up, I deliver your body. In Jesus in Jesus name if you can pray please pray if you could not let go before you're going to feel the power of letting go going to come over you in Jesus Christ name in Jesus Christ name in Jesus Christ name if you can pray, please pray. The heaven have opened up for you. Tell God anything he's listening. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There are some few people that are sick, and God is telling the man of God that these people start to give up. The man of God is saying, if you're sick and you're giving up inside, not only you're sick, but if you're sick and you start giving up in your heart. Kuna watu wachache ni wagonjwa lakini wamekata tamaa. There are some few people that are sick but also they're giving up. As you're standing on the altar, unapoona na kuwa mgonjwa umekata tamaa, elewa umefunikwa na nguvu fulani ambayo huwezi kuishinda kwa uwezo wako. When you see that you're sick and also you give up in your heart, understand that you've been covered by the power that you cannot overcome it by yourself. Maana kila mtu anayepita katika pito gumu, because whoever pass on hardships if it's allowed by God himself once a person overcome or see the way through in the bible this person is called a, a warrior do you understand this point Ukipita kwenye pito gumu iwe ni ugonjwa au jambo lolote gumu ambalo linakuumiza moyo ikiwa Mungu ameliruhusu hilo if you're passing hard things that is making you is giving you pain in your heart but if it's God allow that thing baada kuvuka ama baada kushinda unaitwa shujaa after having a victory you be called an a warrior na unakuwa sababu ya kuwavuta wengine kuja kwa Mungu and you become the reason that gonna pull others to Christ au kila mmoja anayekubali pito ambalo Mungu ameliruhusu or anybody agree or allow himself to pass where he's passing for the purpose of God 
kama Mungu ameliruhusu kama shule yako If God have allowed it as your schooling ili ushinde for you to overcome it uwe shujaa for you to be a warrior uwe hodari for you to be courageous unapopita hapo unawavuta wengi kwa Mungu as you pass that and overcome it you're gonna pull many people to, to God Yusufu Joseph alikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu na Mungu alimpa maono tangu akiwa mtoto mdogo He was a servant of God that God gave him a vision from when he was a young boy Lakini ili kuafikie kiwango cha maono yake alipitwa kwenye mambo magumu For him to reach the level of his calling he, he, he was supposed to go under hardships na kashinda and he overcame it tunamuona yusufu akawa shujaa mtu mkubwa sana we see joseph was an a warrior person and a mighty person sawa sawa na maono aliyopewa tangu akiwa mtoto mdogo according to the vision that god gave him when he was a young boy lakini wale wanaokataa pia shule ya mungu but the ones that is refuse the school of god mungu anaporuhusu shule hiyo wakakataa once god allow the schooling and they refuse it kazi yao kubwa unakuta wanawaibisha wale walioikubali hiyo shule na kushinda most of the time they gonna shame the people that agree to the school of god adui anawatumia wanaanza kushindana na wale ambao walishinda the enemy gonna use them to compete with the ones that overcame ajabu hilo ni chukizo sana machoni pa mungu and that thing is an detestable in the eyes of god mungu ananiambia wanapaswa kutubu god is telling the man of god that these people should repent wasipo tubu kuna adhabu ya Mungu itashuka juu yako na kwenye kizazi chako. Once you don't repent there is a punishment God gonna release on you and your generation. Shika kifua chako. Touch your chest. Wale ambao ni wagonjwa na wanakata tamaa. To the ones that are sick and also they give up in their hearts. Kwa sababu umeanza kuona mauti mbele. Because you start seeing death ahead of you. Kutoka sasa. From this moment. Kuwa na imani ya Mungu. Have the face of God kuwa na imani kwa Mungu. Have the faith to God. Acha kuangalia kibinadamu kuwa na imani kwa Mungu. Don't look things uh, physical, just have faith to God. Waebrania 11 mstari wa 6 anasema wa mwendeao Mungu lazima waamini kwamba yeye yupo. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6 say once that, the ones that got to God must believe that he exists. Na kwamba huwapa thawabu wale wamtafutao. That he award the ones that are seeking for him. Wa muendea, Mungu lazima waamini kwamba yeye Mungu yupo. The ones that goes to God must believe that he exists. Na kwamba huwapa thawabu au baraka zao ama majibu yao wao wamtafutao. That he award or give the answers or give the blessings to the ones that are seeking for him. Inoa imani yako kwa Mungu. Raise your faith to God. Wacha kuangalia kukata tamaa. Don't focus on giving up. Acha kuangalia mauti. Don't focus on death kutoka sasa from this moment kwa jina la Yesu Kristo in Jesus Christ name na kufutia roho ya kukata tamaa i delete the spirit of giving up na kufutia roho ya kukata tamaa i delete the spirit of giving up and let na magonjwa that it be brought by sickness ugonjwa sio sehemu ya maisha yako sickness is not part of your life magonjwa sio sehemu ya Kristo sickness is not part of the body of Christ magonjwa sio sehemu ya uzima wa Mungu sickness is not part of the life of God na kufutia hayo mateso i delete those sufferings na kufutia kwa jina la Yesu i delete it in Jesus name roho ya kukata tamaa the spirit of giving up ondoka kwa watu hawa get out from these people ondoka roho ya unyonge ndani yao disappear they disable the, the power of feeling weak in them kwa jina la Yesu in Jesus name na tamka uzima ndani yako i speak life over you ndani ya roho yako in your heart ndani ya mwili wako in your body ndani ya viungo vyako in your muscles ndani ya mifupa yako in your bones uvimbe yeyuka tumor disappear mateso ya macho achilia suffering of the eyes disappear pate kuona waziwazi for them to see again hapo tumbo ondoka demon that brings pain in the stomach hapo tumbo ondoka demons of the stomach get out hayo tasa ondoka the power of unbearing rosa kiza ondoka darkness power get out rosa mizimu ondoka darkness a, a power of ancestors get out na malipizi yake and your vengeance yasipata nafasi juu ya watu hawa you don't have power over these people katika china la yesu kristo in jesus christ name na kufungua kutoka sasa i set you free from this moment na kufungua kutoka sasa i deliver you from this moment na kufungua moment. kutoka sasa i free you from this moment na kufungua moment. kutoka sasa i free you from this katika moment katika china la yesu kristo in jesus christ name na kila mateso yaondoke and every suffering disappear 
for our viewers on social media. If you're watching the man of God, Bishop Elbarik Sumbe, this is a Sunday service live. It's a, power, it's a time to receive uh, the power of forgiveness. It's a time to receive healing for the ones that are sick and they are giving up from their hearts because they see death. As the man of God is ministering here, you can also receive what it takes is only for you to rise up your faith and the focus to God. Do not look at the circumstances that you're in right now. Just face and raise your face to God and you can receive your healing. In Jesus' name. power of God that is here to deliver people and they heal them. now he's walking because the power of healing comes from God through the man of God is here he came with two walking sticks now he's walking with one and then we can see the man of God is taking the second one and now we see him walking without the walking sticks hallelujah Hallelujah. This is a miracle and the power of the healing. Amen. church of Ukarodan and this today is a Sunday service live the man of God is ministering and we see God touching people we can see some are given smile we can see the lady just smiled some time ago and now we see the lovely lady God is setting her free we see the power of God that is here as he, he teaches the word of God that we should forgive from our heart and that God have revealed that secret of forgiveness and let go from our heart is then God going to see us through so we see people are keeping on delivered by the power of God as a man of God is passing so if you're watching just believe that the God is attending to these people can attend to you it doesn't matter the distance Endelea kujiunganisha mahali popote wanakotufuatilia kwenye TV, kwenye YouTube, kwenye Facebook. Endelea kujiunganisha ni saa ya kufunguliwa, saa ya kukombolewa kutoka kwenye vifungo mbalimbali kupitia mtumishi wa Mungu. Jiunganisha na madhabahu saa hii. Maana neema ya Mungu inapita kwa ajili yako mahali popote wanakotufuatilia. Endelea kufuatilia madhabahu hii. Endelea kujiconnect. Jiunganisha mahali popote ulipo. Bishop Elbarik Sumba on social media. God is passing. When the man of God is ministering, God is passing. They see his people 
wherever they have in their hearts, God sees them through. If you open up your heart and believe and connect yourself, God will see you through. The distance does not matter. It doesn't matter where you are, but God will see you through as the service is going on, as the man of God is ministering around. You receive wherever it is that you wish for God to see you through. Hallelujah. Endelea kujiunganisha mahali popote unakotufuatilia kwenye TV, kwenye YouTube, kwenye Facebook. Endelea kujiunganisha ni saa ya kufunguliwa, saa ya kukombolewa kutoka kwenye vifungo mbalimbali kupitia mtumishi wa Mungu. Jiunganishe na madhabahu saa hii. Maana neema ya Mungu inapita kwa ajili yako mahali popote unakotufuatilia. Endelea kufuatilia madhabahu hii. Endelea kujiconnect. Jiunganishe mahali popote ulipo. touching us in our own individual ways everybody according to whatever they wish God is seeing us through because he sent his word today to heal us and he's here to deliver one of us so just connect yourself and raise your faith to God you will receive amen That you have a problem of your waist, just touch your waist. Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Mekwa kama vile kuna msumari ndani. You feel, ah! you feel like there's a nail in your waist. Toka. Huyo. The mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Ona nguvu ya jini kwenye kiuno chako miaka mingi. There is a power of a demons on your waist for many years. Makazi yake nataka kukuharibia maisha yako hata kwenye ndoa yako takapoingia. Ni jini ambayo lilipatwa halali miaka mingi. You have to want to destroy your life even your marriage is a demon that got legal rights. Tunashindana kwenye ulimwengu wa roho sio damu na nyama. Our fight is our, in our spirit in the spiritual realm not physical. Wewe ni mtu mzuri sana. You are a very nice person. Ni mkarimu. You are very kind. Ni mpole. You are very quiet. Lakini uliwahiwa ile nguvu ikakaa hapa. But they, they overtake you and install the power in you. So that you may torture your marriage. Sometimes you feel like vomiting or throwing up. Ndio. Unapotapika hivyo kila mtu ambao ulikuwa umemweka moyoni unaanza kumkataa. Sababu ile nguvu. Once you feel that every person that you have in the heart you begin to reject them. 
lakini Yesu anakupenda. But Jesus loves you. Unapofunguliwa wewe na wengine wote ambao wana shida ya viuno, wengine walichanjagwa chale kwenye viuno wanaambiwa siju kuna nini kuna nini wanafunguka na wao. As you been delivered everyone with this kind of problem, God gonna set them free. Kuna vitu vilifunikwa na adui. There are things that were covered by the enemy. Wengine wakavibeba kwenye viuno. Unajua zamani wa mama wanajua kibeba mtoto wako, kimbeba mgongoni hapa, anaishi hapa kwenye kiuno. So the Kwayo, enemy put it in the way so you know the women we carry children in on our back. Wengi wamebeshwa mateso namna hiyo. A lot of people have been carried those Kwayo, ana, persecution. Ana, 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 anapofunguliwa huyu dada na kiuno chako kinafunguliwa. So this lady been set free wherever any person that has this problem is also get, uh, is receiving healing. Nikota. Kwa chas. Toka. 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 The might not kwa jina la Yesu toka the might na mafuta kwa jina la Yesu kila mateso yanaondoka every persecution yanaondokaje unajikuta uko huru kutoka sasa you're gonna disappear and you're gonna see yourself free from this moment jini halitamiliki ndani yako tena enemy you won't reign over this place ever again amen amen wewe uko huru you're free asema na wewe uko huru you're free Nasema na wewe uko huru. You are free. Na wewe uko huru. You are free. Wait. Yes, is evil spirits manifesting themselves? They're going to give everything that they stolen from her. Toa. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Kila mtu kwao na wewe uende kuzimu. You go back to hell where you belong. Na watu wa Mungu is for spirit what kill this amekosa nini mnamua anakosa nini what is the reason for you to kill her umemloga mamlisha nini they've witched her yakula vya kuficha they fed her deadly food yakula vya kuficha tunamlishaga usiku they feed her in the middle of the night yani tunamtanganya anapendaga ndizi tunampikiaga tunamwekea nyama afu tunampa na kula alafu sasa usiku akistuka anajisikia vibaya anajisikia kutapika anamwamshia mume wake anamwambia mume wangu najisikia vibaya kubwa nenyewe anamwambia mume wake anajisikia vibaya nimekula vya kula sasa nini ni akina nani who are you sisi sisi ni makaku nenye ni nani is queen from hell Ninyi ni akina nani? Who are you? Sisi. Sisi. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Ninyi ni akina nani? Speak in Jesus name. Who are you? Sema moja. Say one. Sema mbili. Say two. Sema tatu na mwisho. Say three and final. Asirudi tena. Never to come back. Wala asilishwe vyakula. Amen. Amen. Get out. Get out. The spirit of death. Get out. Get out. Ukiwa na roho ya mauti utakuwa mtu wa mikosi. Once you have a spirit of death, you're going to have tragedy. Na chochote unachofanya utapanda kidogo baada ya muda unateremka kwa kasi. And everything you do is not flourishing, you're going to be bankrupt. 
In Jesus Christ's name. You are free. From today, it's final. Thank you, Lord. Toka. The man of God see a lot of people that be captured their footsteps spiritual. Once your footsteps spiritual are being captured, you can't reach to your destiny. Even though physically you see you're moving, but spiritually you can't reach your goals. Release this leg. Now come. Be uprooted. Get out. Never talk. Talk. Jesus Christ. I could tanga na kuzim. I disconnect you with her. Achilea to asake. Release her, his footsteps. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus Christ name. Amen. Amen. Santes. Thank you Jesus. Ukuhuru. You are free. Kuna mtu ambaye kila wakati tumbo lake linamsumbua sana. There is a person that have trouble with the stomach each every time. And I've used uh, different types of medicines. Sometimes you it just gets upset. Once you speak what God is telling in your heart, God he do the work. The Bible says not by power by the Holy Spirit. He said for spirit wants the man of God to die. Nakufa eh? lini? This is this is a demon asking the man of God when you go to that. He says that he used a lot of money. We have to pay for 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 money. Tumefaraganisha na watu. Watu wanamchukia sumbe. Alikuwa kanisani. Anamtumikia Mungu. Muumini mmoja akaona wivu. Alikuwa anamtolea Mungu. Anataka kutoka roni. Sumbe hata nikwambie. Yule muumini akachukia. Kwa nini anamtolea Mungu kazi zote zao? Hana mali. Ana baba tumemua. Mama yake yupo tu. Tukaona tainua ile nyumba. Yule muumini tukamtumia. Tukatafuta watu. Tukafika saba. Mungu wake anavompenda maana jamuacha toka ameasinga watisi ndo tulimfunga. Ninyi ni akina nani? Fuo hiyo. Watu mbali mbali. Eh? Watu mbali mbali. Kuna watu wanazaliwa na nyota. Wengine wanachukia. Tukakusanyana na kwa bibi tuko saba. Tukamkamata. Tukampitisha. 
kwa muumini wake wa kazini akafanya zambi akatoka kanisani tukamzururisha tukamzururisha sombe na kuambia hatujamnyang'anya kipaji cha pesa ana pesa kila anakotafuta anapata hajawahi kupungukiwa lakini tukatafuta mimi tukatafuta mimi miaka saba sasa akamwambia Mungu naomba unisaidie kila anakokanyaga Mungu naomba unisaidie nirudi kanisani watu mbali mbali wanamtafuta anasema nataka nirudi kanisani siwazi kuficha mimi nimefanya zambi ya uzinzi anataka kurudi kanisani tukatafuta mbinu tukampeleka Morogoro akapata mwanaume tukawapigisha tukawapigisha na yule mwanaume alikuwa kanisani tulimfakarakanisha na yeye tukawaachanisha na mke wake akampata huyu dada huyu dada kweli wakapendana tukamtoa Morogoro tukamleta Landanai akawa mtumishi wa gongo akapika gongo akapika gongo akapika gongo anapika gongo lakini anachukia unasikia sumbe akamwambia Mungu pesa akawa anapata 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 yule mwanaume anamdanganya anamdanganya tunapitisha yule mwanaume kwa waganga kwa waganga mke wangu tuma hela tuma hela anatuma laki mbili laki tatu laki nne akamwambia Mungu sitaki Mungu sitaki nimesema Mungu sitaki naomba nipate pesa niachane na ikazi niondoke niende kanisani akafanya kazi akafanya kazi akafanya kazi sombe juzi eh juzi jumatatu tumekuja mbele ya mazabau amekuja kwa ajili yake na Mungu wake ni sawa juzi jumatatu kabla hapo siku kama wiki moja jumatatu tukamtumia mama mmoja rafiki yake anamweleza kila kitu alipokuwa anataka kuja kanisani yule mama anajua tukatumia kinywa cha yule mama akachukua simu akapigia maaskari simu wakaja hadi anapoka ameitwa kutoka kuhudumia watu nje anataka kuingia ndani eti Mungu wake yani huyu Mungu jamani inasikitisha yani akatumiwa baba mmoja tunaomba mwite Paulina mwite Paulina akaita Paulina 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 mara ya tatu Mungu akagarifisha roho yake kageuka kama ngale ule baba. Apigia hatua ya kwanza. Hatua ya pili. Hatua ya tatu anamfikia yule baba. Mwache. Mungu akamwambia angalia yule ni nani? Yule ni nani? Ni askari. Kwa sababu aliapa mbele ya Mungu. Anaacha ile kazi. Mungu akamtumia yule baba kamuonyesha askari. Bahati nzuri nyumba alikuwa anakaa. Alikuwa na geti. Wacha bwana akamuona yule askari Mungu wake akamwambia piga hatua ya kwanza akapiga hatua ya pili hatua ya tatu akapiga kona kaingia saluni katokea mlango wa nje mbele kakata huyo akaondoka akacharu si tukamkosa bwana tukamkosa kwa kweli tulimkosa maana kile kipesa alichokuwa nacho tulitaka kiishe ili endelee kulewesha watu acha bwana anawatenda Teja ni bala. Tulimletea wateja ili atupende sisi. Lakini sasa sumbe imeshindikana. Imeshindikana eh? Imeshindikana. Bas piga magoti. Akaambiwa na bwana. No kneel down. Hapa. Akaambiwa na bwana yake hivi sikiliza tumalize kwanza unatuhitaja kati tumekuja. Kwani mimi nimewaita? Bwana yake akampigia. Kwani mimi nimewaita? Bwana yake akampigia simu. Akamwambia mama. Akamweleza aliyotokea akamwambia mama achana na kazi cho. Tufanye kazi ni akamwambia baba nataka niende kanisani kwa mtumishi mmoja anaitwa Sumbe maana nilifungua kwenye Facebook nikamwona akamwambia unaenda kanisani mwanamke leo Jumatano mpaka usubiri Jumamosi usafiri uende kanisani Jumapili haujui kwamba biashara ya samaki inatakiwa tutumie muda mwafaka kupata pesa akamwambia pesa na Mungu ni vitu tofauti paka nifike kwa sumbe Jumatatu nitakuja. Tunashanga kwa hiyo. Hapa alipo ameacha watoto wake. 
kwa hiyo unatakaje tumemtoa huko tumemkimbiza sasa si yuzo unafanyaje hebu tuambie tunafanya This is evil spirit manifesting himself. Afunguliwe. Let her be delivered. Masikia. Kila siku ni wakutoka hapa. Babake mwenyewe tumemua, tukamleta London night muue kama babake tukashindwa. Na yeye tena. Ha, ina maana kwamba ni nani tena? Anaenda kumtumikia Mungu tena, maskini ya Mungu. Ye. Kumbe kisicho chako sio chako. Kuja hapa. Step forward. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo ali hai. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nyaturu ametoka singida mnyaturu, katoka singida sumbe sumbe. Kasema wewe mbona ni mnyaturu? Si utulia na wewe kwanza kidogo tukuoneone ha. Unasema? Tukuone. Unionea nipeleke wapi? Wanyaturu jamani mnasifika kwa ku, kwa kuhubiri. Say one. Say two. Say three and final. Amen. Amen. Uko huru mwanamke. You're free. Woman, you're free. Don't turn again to the world, just give yourself to Christ. Umasikia hicho kitu anachoongea. You you understand what she been saying? Njoo mama. Come here, woman. Mtu kishafungwa, huwezi kujifungua mwenyewe. Once you're bound, you cannot set yourself free. Hakuna mtu anayetakaga tabia mbaya. Kila mtu anataka tabia nzuri, lakini ukifungwa na yuje jikuto umeingia kwenye tabia ambayo hukupenda kuingia. No one wish to have bad behaviors, but once you're bound, you find yourself in that circumstance. Bwana sifu ya mwanamke. Praise the Lord Jesus. Naitwa nani? Naitwa Paulina. Paulina. Her name is Paulina. Naishi wapi Paulina? Nyumbani ni Singida lakini nilikuwa na Danai. Ila Ulikuwa na Danai. Eh nimeenda Morogoro huko nikatoka nikaenda Landanai. Nilikuwa Londiondo katoka kaenda Landanai. Nilikuwa Morogoro nikatoka huko. Eh nimetoka nyumbani Singida nikaenda Morogoro nikatoka nikaenda Landanai. Kwa nini unatembea tembea tatizo lilikuwa nini? Sijui kuna vitu tu vilitokea tokea. Funua moyo wako mama. Mungu anakupenda. Just open up because kuna God loves you. Kuna vitu vilitokea katika maisha yangu. Ndio na kitu ambacho kilinisababisha niserudi nyumbani ndio nilipata shida ya kukopa pesa za watu uliazima pesa za watu niliazima pesa nilijaribu kufanya biashara nikiwa nyumbani nikashindwa kurejea ikashindikana ndio maana ukakimbia eh ndio maana nikaondoka ulikuwa hujaolewa nilikuwa na mwanaume wa kwanza tukaachana naye wakati tunafanya biashara hiyo mko naye au ndio lishaachana naye tuliachana kabla ya hapo Tuliachana kabla ya hapo kabla kufanya biashara. Ah kabla hapo. Eh. Ndio kajitegemea kufanya biashara. Ndio. Uh-huh. Baadaye nikafanya biashara ndio hivyo nikaja nika nilikuwa niko kanisani kwanza. Uko huko Singida. Eh nilikuwa nimeokoka Dungunyi. Dungunyi. Ndio. Sawa. Eh niliokoka nilipata na shida nikaokoka nikaombewa Mungu akanionekania. Baadaye Pita pita tu za maisha nikajikuta nimefanya dhambi nikashindwa nikajikuta umeanguka dhambini eh ndio nikashindwa kuendelea na kanisa nikaendelea na mambo tu ya dunia baadaye ndio hivyo nilizunguka kutoka hapo ndio kaanza mzunguko e, na huko na dunia huko na mzunguko ndio kwa hiyo sasa hivi umetokea wapi mara ya mwisho sasa hivi nimetoka London nine nilikuwa naenda Katavi unataka kwenda Katavi ndio sasa katavi naenda kufanya nini mama? Una umepata nani huko dili? Tulikuwa tuko na baada ya kutoka hapo nilikuja kupata mwanaume, tukaelewana. Tukaelewa. Eh, tukaelewana kuishi. Maeneo gani? Tulitoka naye Singida. Mlitoka naye Singida. Ndio. Baada ya kukimbia ile issue, eh, ukaona mume wako ambaye amekuwa sasa wa pili huyo. Ndio. Sawa. Nikatoka naye pale Singida, tukaenda Morogoro, tukaja landa naye ndo sasa hivi nataka niende katavi maana anasema kuna biashara imeonekana kutu. na huyo mume ndio yule wa kwanza mlizana watoto 
Mezaane watoto wawili. Sasa watoto wako wapi? Watoto wako singida. Kwa baba yao. Hapana, nili nilifanikiwa Mungu alinifungulia milango wakati nimeokoka. Nilijenga nyumba kwa mikono yangu. Mungu alivyonisaidia. Nina vyumba vitano, sebule ya sita ndio wanaishi pale. Ndio wanaishi hapa. Wanajitegemea e. watoto wako. Eh, nikipata hela tu nawatumia. Kwa nini usifanye biashara huko kwa nyumbani ukiwa na watoto wako kama utapata mtaji? Sikuweza maana nilikuwa na madeni mengi. Ulikuwa na madeni mengi ndio maana nilikuwa pakopa hela za watu. Ni yani kawa tu najisikia kuondoka nyumbani. Sasa umeona roho iliyokuwa imekufunga? Alafu unaniambia nitakufa lini? Unataka kuniua? Hmm. Hapana. Si amesema ananiuliza nitakufa lini? The spirit was asking when the man of God gonna die. Kumbe we ni muwaji. Hapana. Ndio welewe ulikuwa umefungwa na roho mbaya. Now you should understand you were bound by evil spirits. Ipo tayari. Kabisa. Ndio na huyo mume wako yuko wapi? Yuko Katavi. Ndio yuko Katavi ametangulia huko. Ndio. Kutoka huko mlikokuwa London Eye. Ndio. Kwa ndio anakuambia sasa mamu Sapunjo. Ndio. Sema bwana Yesu. Say Lord Jesus. Ninarudi miguuni pako kama mwana mpotevu. I come back to your foot as a lost child. Na dhambi zangu zote. I ask you to forgive all my sins. Nioshe kwa damu yako iliyomwagika msalabani. Namkataa shetani na kazi zake zote. Asinifuate tena. Asante Yesu. Kwa kuniokoa. Nijaze na roho wako mtakatifu. Nikupendeze siku zote. Katika jina la Yesu. Baba na nena baraka. Na nena rehema. Mkumbuke mwanamke huyu. Msingi wake ulianza na wewe lakini adua kamuharibu. Alifunikwa na dhambi, alifunikwa na mambo magumu. Lakini kutoka sasa umemkomboa. Asirudi dhambini tena kwa jina la Yesu mali popote atakapokuepo mpe madhabahu iliyo sahihi atunzwe kiroho akue akikutumikia na yale ambayo bwana yalimsibu chanzo cha kutoroka kwa sababu ya madeni na ni fedha za watu mfungulie milango awe mwaminifu akipata fedha akalipe fedha za watu maana we ni Mungu mwenye haki nimeomba na kushukuru katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen amen Baba nina kushukuru. Father I thank you. Kwa ajili ya watu wako. For your people. Na uweza na uzima wako uliopita ndani yao. And your power and the healing that pass over them. Na kutoka sasa Bwana. And from this moment Lord. Tamka wakafanikiwe. I speak for them to be blessed. Kusiwepo na mauti juu yao. No death over them. Kutoka sasa. From this moment. Kusiwepo na kuzuia nyuma kurudishwa nyuma tena. No power to pull them back ever again. Tangaza wakawe juu sawa sawa na lako katika jina la Yesu. I declare for them to be elevated according to your name in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Nenda ukapandishwe cheo kazini, nenda ukainuliwe biashara yako, nenda ukainuliwa huduma yako. Go and be elevated in your workplaces and also your calling. Nenda ukasikia waziwazi kile Mungu anasema na roho yako. Unapotii, ninakutakia kila laheri Mungu akubariki. Asante sana. Asante sana.